Derek, did you finish your research paper? Yeah, it's right here. Did you do the research? Yes, I did the research. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. You better not be. I'm not. I'll read it to you. Babe Ruth by Derek Banks. Babe Ruth was born a strong black woman with a very powerful, soulful voice. She was Dad, yeah. have you ever been sleeping and then in your dream you walk to the bathroom and you start peeing in the toilet but when you wake up and you're, peeing and you're in, in bed with a boy from your class and you're like, okay, what happened last night? No, I haven't. Yeah, no, me neither. Me neither. Dad, did you see that tall horse that was with the other team's cheerleaders today? Are you talking about- Of course they won the cheerleading competition. They had a horse on their team. Okay, you know that a that's- A horse a... that could cheer at that. How the hell do you find a horse that can cheat? Again, I want you to know that that- I told Brandy, if that horse shits on the court, I'm not cheering. Because what if I step in it? It wasn't going to shit. It's a person. Okay, obviously you don't know much about horses because they'll shit anyway. Derek, no. there was a person inside of that. That horse ate a person? No, I'm just saying- And they still let it cheer. It was a costume. Their mascot. I don't know what you mean. It was someone dressed up as a horse. No way. I shook his hand. I'm telling you. It no, I'm telling you it was a person. Okay. I'll ask my chiveting coach, but I'm pretty sure that was... So that wasn't a real horse. And what about last week? That wasn't a real Viking with a sword? Really? Hmm. Okay, listen, sir, you're getting mad at me, and I'm trying to tell you that my dad's the one who said this. To his friend. That's why I'm calling. I didn't... I know... I know you're saying that you don't do that. Okay. Dad. Yeah. Hey, remember the other day when you were on the porch with your friend and he was like, I'm trying to get some tonight. And you was like, you better try them hookers down the street. Um, yeah. Well, I googled them and their names are actually uh, David and Patty Hooker. Very nice family. They have two kids. Have them on the phone now and they're saying they don't do that. They're saying you're lying. Wait, you... You called a, fa a f you called a family with the last name? Yeah, I called them. They're on the phone right now. I offered them $40. They said, no way that they're not. Maybe I should offer them my Princess Elsa slippers. How was your date with Amy? Crazy. We went to the movies. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, she kept smiling at me. She likes you, bro. And when the movie started... Them lights dim. Yeah, they do. What'd you do? I reached over and put my hand on her thigh. Damn. I know. You're the man. I know. What'd she do? She, she, she kind of she grabbed my hand. Oh, shit. And she was like... Get the f off of me. So it didn't go well? No. Not at all. Guys, remember I had a story to tell you guys? Yeah, what yeah, What is it? All right, you ready? Yeah, come yeah, on. Tell us. Okay. I yeah. Yeah. made out go go on. with who? Who? Stacy today. Whoa. Whoa. Stacy wasn't at school today. She wasn't? Well, I made out with someone. They kept kissing me, talking about they want to be a teen mom. Derek. It wasn't me. No, it wasn't Derek. Because this one said they want to be a teen mom with two kids. Derek doesn't just want to be a teen mom, but wants to be a, a single, single mom, mom with three kids, kids and ex-husband and another lover with chest hair. And all his chest hair just a chest hair. He knows me. I do know you. Amy. Oh. Your voice is deep as hell. What's wrong with you? Here we go. You sound like the guy that sings bass for Boys to Men. It's that and Derek baby, kid. I knew about those other guys. Derek, I before you dig care. yourself into a deeper hole. Are you sick? No. You better not be, because we made out in English class. I swear, if you get me sick before my cheerleading competition, you will not want to see- Derek, this is her dad. For real? Yeah, it is. What do you want? If this is her dad, what did I ask you the other day in the garage? You said I was cute, and you asked me if my wife and I were having problems in our marriage. And? Are you guys having any problems? Derek, don't call here anymore. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can stop by and get it. You can stop by and get it tonight. I'll be here. Okay. Just call me when you're in your way. Okay. Can I see the phone? Mom, 
That's cheating on you. He just told a lady she can get it. What? She can get it? Shall I beat his ass? Shall I beat? Listen, give me the okay right now, and I will f him up. But I want you to make that decision. I don't want to have to make that decision. I want that to be on. Derek, that was your aunt Vicky. <gasps> it was Aunt Vicky. Can I do it? Can I break his jaw? Ooh, you better hope she don't tell me to break your mother. Derek, she was stopping by to get something that she left here. Hey, I'm about to call you back. You know what? I knew this day was gonna come, but I ain't know it's gonna be today. Put him up. Put him up. Like I ain't been in tumbling classes. Put your mother. Are you ready for bed? No, no, no. I think the question is, are you ready for Sarah Beth and Samantha? Okay, I'm gonna need you to stop acting crazy. Like I said, your Aunt Vicky was here with your mother like two weeks ago, <sighs> left her stuff here. She's coming by to get it, and I don't need you. Who are you calling? Aunt Vicky, you disappoint me. Wow. What'd you do? I don't know. Tried to f Hello? Derek, Bobby said he's gonna beat us up. So? I'm not scared. I've been to jail. You've been to jail. Well, to pick up my uncle on a small traffic violation, nothing Derek, too big. Bobby is gonna f*** us up, man. We gotta figure something Relax, out. Relax, man. I know karate. You know karate? Well, I watch a lot of Cobra Kai. Focusing on Samantha mainly. She tends to be really Derek, strong. Bobby is looking for us, man. We gotta figure something out. Bro, just send Bobby to my house. Really? You... Bobby knows where I live. Yeah, Bobby Anderson knows where you live. Okay, I thought you were talking about Bobby Joe, your little sister. You're talking about Bobby Anderson in the sixth grade? Yes. Okay, we're in trouble.